Our partners at Bet Online continue to be your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, all the latest fighting news, and this season's NFL. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get the bonus and get into action. Bet online where the game starts. Hello, hello, hello. It's Pirate Talk Podcast with Alexis, Texas, and we are back live in Exotica, New Jersey, and we have the pleasure of having Kelsey Keen with us. Hi. Hello and welcome. How are you having a fun show? Has it been crazy busy? It's been pretty busy. It's definitely busier than Miami was, but it's been so much fun. I love Exotica. Now, is this your first Jersey show, or is this your second time? Because this, this is, is the 15th year, so it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, this is my first time in Jersey. This is my first time actually in Jersey as a state. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you got your cherry popped in multiple ways. Yes, I did. Yes, I, I did. like that. I like. So are you loving it? How are the fans? Do you have feedback? Um, fans have been great. I've been loving it. It's been super fun. The energy's been awesome all weekend. It's been a good time. So besides your booth, because I know they're biased, what is your favorite part of Exotica that you've seen this time? Maybe another time in um, Miami? Honestly, my favorite part of Exotica is the pole competition. I feel like they always do really good, and it's super fun to watch. Okay. I also love your tour contest, of course. Okay, but okay. The pole comp, I think, is always fun to watch. And private talk, she actually was on the tour contest uh, yesterday, too, or the day before yesterday. We the missed you yesterday. yesterday. We missed Friday. you yesterday, but yes. you did a great job. There was a heavy competition. It's always one of yes. my favorite things, but again, it's so twerking, fun. big booties, twerking. you yes. know, how can you go wrong with that? Yes, so of course. Wrong with that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. What kind of scenes are you doing? How long have you been in the industry? So I've been doing mostly like mainstream stuff, a lot of boy-girl stuff. I've been in the industry since May, it's November, so like six months about now. But I've been loving it, it's been super cool. So what kind of got you to like make the plunge and getting to the adult entertainment world? Um, so I was a dancer for quite a while first. I decided this year that I was just going to do it and do porn. I wanted to do porn for years, but I was always like afraid a little bit. And I finally was like, I'm going to just do it. And I'm so happy that nice. I made that decision. Was there any kind of maybe like icons or people you looked up to that you. was kind of like, oh, nice, like, nice. Very, I'm very nice. excited to be talking to you. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yes. I appreciate that. Yes. It's one of those things that, you know, you never really know. People have so many different fetishes, people in different worlds. Mm -hmm. it is, and it's cool how the kind of worlds collide. If they're being, you yes. Know, dancing and you know these people always be like give it a bad rap or you know oh you do porn you do this but kind of every way maybe because you're not fucking doesn't mean we're all not similar in one way or another yeah we're all together somehow yeah, yeah sex workers unite exactly all together <laughs> so who is one of your favorite companies that you've worked so for so far um uh, my favorite companies that i worked for so far bang bros down in florida okay. mofos also in florida like those those crews i've had a really good time with so far awesome and who have you worked with that like stand out to you that you maybe want to repeat offend a lot like talent wise talent wise isaiah maxwell isaiah maxwell isaiah hands maxwell, down hands, hands down. down isaiah maxwell and he right. knows it too he knows <laughs> I love that. I love yes. that. What about girls? Girls? I haven't worked with a lot of girls, actually. Okay. Um, Are you not into girls? I Are you just kind of taking it slow? I am very into girls. I just haven't been booked with them yet, really. Okay. Well, how yes. come you don't book them for your own stuff? I, everything goes through my agent right now. Okay, okay, okay. We yes. can work on that. We can work yes. on that. Tell them you know I need more stuff for my OnlyFans. I Give would... me more content. Yes. They want the fans want to see it. You're yes. a beautiful, sexy girl. Yeah. I feel like, you know, we need more. We, we need, need more, Kelsey. More, we need more. more. All right, so who would you say that maybe that you don't, haven't done so far, but you have a wish list? I don't have a wish list. Okay, not even males? There's no male talent that walks around here and you're just like, hmm. No, the only male talent I wanted was Danny Steele, who I already got, and Isaiah Maxwell. Those are my two. And Javon Jordan as well. So you get what you want. I what got what I wanted. Yeah, I get what I want usually. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing yes. wrong with that. Yeah, you get it. You're blonde. You get what you want. I don't even think it's just the blonde thing. I think it's the, like, you know, when you're um, a female who just knows what you want. You get it, yeah. You take charge. I feel yeah. like, you know, I always say closed mouths don't get fed. So 100%. The, the worst thing they could do is tell you no, but I'm going to make you say yes. So, exactly. you know, one way or another, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna still going to get one. <laughs> way. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing oh. wrong with that. All right, let's see. What is your biggest goal for your career? You just started in the industry not that long ago. Yes. You have, you know, like you said, you have people that you kind of looked up to, kind of doing things. Do you have goals set? Um, I don't have, like, concrete goals set, but I want to get, as honestly, as close as I can to the level that you are. I want to be as well-known as possible. I want my name to get as big as I can get it. Okay. So, big goals. Not concrete, like, accomplishments, but getting, I want to be big. Is, describe something that's exciting about you in your life right now. Um, I just moved into my first standalone house. 
Uh, back in Chicago, I had a townhouse. Okay. But in Vegas, I have a house house. Nice. That That's I'm exciting. Congratulations. About it. Ecstatic. Are you living? Are you have roommates? Are you with a boyfriend? I'm what is your status? Currently living by myself. Okay. Currently by myself. One of my friends from back from Chicago might move to Vegas beginning of the year, but okay. as of right now, I'm by myself in my house. So does that mean you're still single? Or are you in a relationship? Are you I in an entanglement? In, we're in the know. we're in the talking stages. Nothing too exciting. Okay. He's okay. very, very, very new. So you're still open to dating yes. others? Yeah. Still okay. open. We'll see what happens. But as of right now, I'm talking to someone. He's great. He's phenomenal. What makes you smile, Cassie? Um, people being nice to each other. I feel like everyone's okay. so mean and like people being nice and being like outgoing and just like excited. Okay. And puppies. And then we can't go wrong with puppies. Yes. yes. Who is your first celebrity crush? Taylor Lautner. Okay. Twilight for sure. Taylor Lautner. Have you ever slid in his DMs? No. No? Not yet? No. Now, now I might. I'm gonna game. wait a, wait a little bit longer. Give okay. my name a little bigger, and then maybe just. The he's married now, though. I think. Oh, but oh, I don't know. He is. He's married to a girl named Taylor. There's two Taylor Lautners running around nowadays. Okay. Well, you know, give it time. Maybe give by it the time, time that you, you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? We don't wish anything happen. bad about you know relationships at all. We want exactly. them all to be thriving. But sometimes people don't. Work sometimes fits. they don't work out. Who knows? Sometimes. So you've been in the business, you know, not that long, but you know, a good amount of time. Have you had any kind of crazy fan interactions or celebrity interactions? Not really. Not anything. Hair, airport one time someone screamed Kelsey at me. But did you I, look? I did, but I also danced in that city for years as Kelsey, so it could have been from that or it could have been from this, I don't know. But that's probably the craziest thing that's happened so far. Okay, so in an industry that's full of beautiful women, what is unique about Kelsey? Um, everyone says my ass, I think my ass, my smile I like too, but my ass is how big is that booty, Kelsey? It's 40 inches. My waist is only 26. Okay, 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 sexy lady. Thank you, thank you. Sexy dog over here. All right. When's the last time you had sex, Kelsey? Last night. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. What is a luxury item that you spoil yourself on? Ooh. Um, shoes. I really like red bottoms. I like shoes. Okay. Yeah. One night stands. Are you into them? Yes. How many have you had? Oh, a few. Uh, I'm not totally sure a count, but definitely a few. I like them. I like the like, fuck them then, okay? You can go you home now. You gone? <laughs> what is the, or who is, or what age is the oldest partner that you've been with? Um, uh, when we were dating, he was 56, and we lived together. We were together for eight months. I was 21. Okay, okay. How is that? Was there, did you break up because of the age difference, or is it just personal differences? Um, Personal differences. Okay. Personal differences. The, the age thing was literally never an issue. The way he viewed the world was. Mm, okay. Yeah. The weirdest place that you've ever masturbated? Ooh. Weirdest place I've ever Going down the highway. I'm not even kidding. On the way to Vegas, I got bored. And you're bored. driving? Driving. I was okay. driving my car bored. So was it with a vibrator? It was with a vibrator, Okay. Yeah. So you just have one in your glove box ready to go? It wasn't in my glove box. Yeah, it was on that trip, basically. <laughs> It was a 25-hour drive. How many times did you come and what, how did you stop? How did you <laughs> like, stop? I keep going and going and going, Kelsey. I came like twice and then I like stopped. I did it like three times on the drive. They okay. kept me like awake and like interested, like alert. Interested? You're like, what's next? <laughs> what's what next? stop can I'm, I get off? I'm that? ready. Let's see. Um, do you have a sex playlist? No. So no music while you're getting uh, I don't have like a specific playlist. I listen to a lot of EDM, so it's usually just... EDM in the background. Okay. Or like a movie. Okay. What's the best advice that you've ever gotten? Um, the answer is always no if you don't ask, and if you can think it, you can do it. So, I like that. Yeah. If you could switch jobs, would you? No. No? You're sticking with this one? Sticking with this one. I like this one a whole bunch. Okay. I don't want to do anything else. I don't blame else. you. I don't, <laughs> don't want to do anything else. <laughs> Have you ever taken a souvenir home? Well, after getting fucked by somebody. Oh, like stolen things from their house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like what? Like little things like You're like, like oh, yeah, yeah, Miss Texas. Oh, yeah. Let me grab you. Have a, you have a mystery box? <laughs> I just like little like, I'm taking like coasters, like little like trinkets off shelves. Just like little things. And they never noticed? No one's ever noticed. I've also added things to people's house. Like brought like little things and like left them like on a shelf in their house. Interesting. It was a is joke it, with my friend group. Is it just to be like to see if they like to get someone's reaction and say like, did you leave this here? Yeah, or like, just I'm, to like, see. What? 
Just to see if they'll no notice and be like, did anything? you do this? No one's ever said anything. Interesting. Do you have one significant like thing that you leave every time or is it just no, different trinkets? No, it's just trinkets? like kind of random stuff. It should be like your mark. It'd be like a signature yes. little figurine. And it's little like figurine. Every, Kelsey was here. <laughs> Kelsey was here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick something. And then every time from now, I'll be like, Kelsey was here. It's like a thimble here. or something weird. It's <laughs> just like, you know, a like, a, so like a monopoly like piece. You know yes. what I mean? Like something like that. <laughs> That'd be like funny. It. I love it. Let me know how that goes. Let's I will. I'll give you updated. <laughs> Let's see. Um, have you ever been kicked out of a place? Uh, been kicked out of a place for like doing something wrong. Yeah. If they were just like, "Ma'am, you need to go. You need to stop. It's time for you to go." Um. And if so, what were you doing? Not really. Um, I was on the news twice at the beginning of this year for yelling at a baseball game and like made. I ended up on like ESPN for it. Okay. But I wasn't kicked out. But what were you yelling about? Um, one of them was I was the away team and the home team was like yelling back so like we got like it looked very aggressive it was not it was okay. all jokes but okay we were yelling on the tv and another time a grown adult caught two stray balls and wouldn't give it to the child sitting uh, next to me so you were gonna fight and i was them. like you're a terrible person give it to the kid and i made the news for that too i mean i can't be mad at that that's yeah, a very like, good call exactly i was like you can keep the first one just give one to the child yeah don't be selfish don't be selfish you gotta be giving it's a kid come on now be good people be a good person everybody be a good person you're big on that i like that i though. am there's should be more, you know, nicer people in the world. There should be. Should be nicer acts of things for no for no reason yes. other than just to be nice. Yes, do good things just to be a good person. It's much better. It all comes back to you. Yes. It does. I believe in karma. The more nice things you do, the more nice things we'll do for you. It balances every time. Kelsey, be a good person. Kelseyisms. No. Yeah. <laughs> what social media platform do you use the most and that you like the best? Um, I probably. Instagram the most. Instagram? Yeah. What is the craziest bodily fluid that has ever been on you? That oh. was not your own. Oh. Throw up. For sure. Like, like in my what ex, capacity? My ex was really drunk and I was trying to like shower him to like get him uh. sober enough to like get on an airplane and he puked all over me. But we were in the shower so like it could have been way worse. Okay, okay. But that was definitely the worst thing that's been on me out of another human. As her face is turned up like <laughs> just ugh. What is your porn hurt search history look like? Um a lot of lesbian porn. Lesbian porn. Yes. Do you still watch porn now that you are doing it? Not as much. Okay. Not as Do much. Do you masturbate to your own porn? I have a hundred percent. Okay, okay, I like that. Yeah. Describe your first sexual experience. Um I was fourteen, it was with my boyfriend at the time. Uh he was my high school sweetheart, we did it all four years of high school. And was in his hot tub inside of his house. He Tinky. had an indoor pool and an indoor hot tub. Interesting. Yeah. Where were y'all's parents at? I don't know. They were never home. They were never there. Don't ever. leave your kids at home. <laughs> don't leave your <laughs> Spit or swallow? Swallow. Anyone who spits is a quitter. Wildest sex story that you have, Miss Kelsey? Oh, I had sex at the World Series uh, last year in Minute Maid Park in the stairway. We almost got caught. It was like at not the like World a back Se stairway. It at was the like World a Series game. At the World Series game, we started losing immediately. So we decided we will never be sleeping together during an Astros game again. No fucking during the Astros. So you didn't get caught. We did not get caught. Did we did not get no, caught. Did anybody come at the end and you were like, oh, yes, almost got caught? Yes, we almost got caught. He was like facing the wall, putting his dick back in his pants, uh, but I was wearing a skirt, so I just pulled uh, it back down. Oh, you naughty, naughty girl. But we didn't get caught. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. <laughs> Are you part of the Mile High Club? Not yet. If anyone would like to change that, hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Where can they contact you, Kelsey? <laughs> Instagram is Kelsey Kate underscore XO. My OnlyFans is the same, and my Twitter is Kelsey Kate X. Have you ever been caught masturbating? Yes. Did you keep going? Yes. But it Good was like girl. by my boyfriend at the time, so it was okay. like no one crazy. So you're like head over here enjoying. Literally, I was like, come on. Do you eat ass? No. Well, not no guys. Not guys. Why not? Um, this is gonna sound kind of rude. I don't think most of them deserve it. I did it once, and it, that guy deserved it. Nobody else. So he ruined it for everybody. He did. He deserved it. He got it whenever he wanted. Every other guy that's asked, it doesn't. They don't feel worth it to me. I okay, like so not if they're doing enough for me for me to be doing anything for so you. So if the right guy came along and was like, Kelsey, I need you to eat my ass, you would do it? I would. If you're doing, if you're fucking me right, I will eat your ass. So explain this though. Would you let him sit on your face? Would you just put his legs back, do the backpack? How would you? How does this go down with Kelsey? <laughs> <laughs> it has gone down every way except he's never sat on my face. But like bent him over something. <laughs> Like, put his legs up, either one. So no, no squatting. My handsome tell me one time they did this froggy thing over her face. I was like, why would you, why would that you do I'm like, this to me? I thought of that, I'd be like, I don't know about that. Yeah, that, 
a fan froggy sitting on me gives me the ick. Yeah, <laughs> what happens if you fall? No, thank you. <laughs> You're just gonna crush my face. No, no. No, no, no. Our faces are our jobs. You can't. This is true. You gotta be careful. the money maker. <laughs> exactly. All right, my favorite part, Truth With Texas. We're gonna run through a couple questions, get to know you a little bit more intimately, a little bit kinkier, a little bit snotty, a little spicy, a little romantic. Let's get it. So, kinky questions. Bondage, yes or no? Yes. Have you ever been in an orgy? Yes. Shower sex or car sex? You gotta pick one. Oh. Shower sex. Have you ever called someone the wrong name during sex? Yes. What was that name? Chris. Did he keep going? Yes. Was he like, who the fuck is Chris? Yes. Did you explain? Nope. Good girl. <laughs> He just, just, I was like, nobody, and we just kept he going. He like finished, and he's like, so let's talk about your life. Yeah, I was like, Chris, Chris, I was like, I think it's time for you to go home. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. What is a sex skill that you are most proud of? Um, I believe I get very good blowjobs. I've been told many times. Okay. How many partners have you had at one time? At once? Like, we're all fucking at the same moment? Yeah. Two. Two? Have you ever been too kinky for a partner? Yes. What was the kink that they were like, ma'am? Um, he wouldn't slap me in the face. So is that a big thing for you? It's not a huge thing for me. It just happened. Like, it came up one time. He's like, I would never do that. And I was like, the word never is a little too definitive for me. So we... Again, you know what you like. Yeah. So I was like, never. Don't stray nope. away. <laughs> Woke up next to someone you didn't know their name. Yes. What'd you do? Left. <laughs> Thank God for Uber. God for Uber. <laughs> you know, it's really crazy. I lost a shoe. That shoe is still at his house. I don't know. I mean, it might not be at his house, but like, I still did, only have one of those shoes. What did girls do before Uber? Like, how I did don't you know. Just walk? Call like, a friend? Walk? What like, what do you do? What do you do if your phone's dead? Oh. Like, Make sure it's not. Make sure it's not. Make That's not. Always, always come prepared. Don't always. leave the house with the, you know, without a charging thing. You know, exactly. stay safe you out gotta, there. Stay safe. Gotta be prepared. All right. Spicy questions. Dirty talk. Do you like it? Um, honestly, I don't like saying it as much now because okay. of work. Okay. Okay. So it feels like work. Yes. Like talking dirty, like in my personal life, just feels more like work to okay. me. Okay. So I don't do it as much now. Have you ever stayed in a relationship just because of sex? Yes. Oh, yes. How long? And, and um, what was his name? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> his name? No, I'm not going to say his name. Um, uh, it was like, probably like four or five months. So he was choking you? He was clapping he your was, face? He oh, was doing he was it all. killing the game. Okay. But everything other than in bed, he was, was a just fail. awful. He was the worst. But he could fuck good, so he got to stick around for a while because of that. It makes him stay a little bit longer, unfortunately. It does. It does. Good dick game will get you a lot farther than treating a girl right. What is that? You seem pretty adventurous. You seem pretty, you know, up for anything. Is there something that's completely off limits for Kelsey that you would not even try? Or maybe you tried it, you don't want to try again? Um, not that I can think of off okay. the top of my head. Okay, so you're just down for it. Down. I like it's it. Down. I'm gonna try anything once. I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try anything once. At least once, for sure. Have you ever fallen asleep during sex? Yes. I love your honesty. Yes. This well, is why we love Truth with Texas because we want the truth here. No, we're not going to lie. There's we're no getting the lying. truth from Miss Kelsey Kane. <laughs> yes. All right, naughty questions. Mm, have you ever paid for sex? No. I slept with guys because like they had like substances that I wanted like in high okay. school. Okay. For so like to, weed. To stuff. get what you wanted. To get what I wanted, but okay. like never specifically got like paid so for. So transactional it. situations, but it's not necessarily yeah. money being what exchanged. Exactly. Role playing. Do you like it? Yes. What is your favorite role to play? Um, I like like the daddy little. Okay, so you like the dom kind yeah, of like dom daddy thing, mommy. Yeah. Uh, oral sex, sloppy or tight? Yeah, sloppy. 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 Biggest turn off. Any time a man is too excited and does like that weird like jump into bed. Okay. Doing the like, Superman into bed? Yeah, like just anytime they leap, both feet, should, one foot should be on the ground all the time, man. You multiple should, men has done this in your life? Multiple men have like jumped into bed and I'm like, I literally don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. It just sounds like children. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I guess not children. But, not you know, children, but like young men immature, who shouldn't be having sex with you yes, is what it should be. You need, men, you need a grown yes. man. We stepped up the game. It hasn't happened in a while, but it has happened many times. Okay, okay. Hooked up with a friend sibling. She's like, let me think. Have I ever fucked any of my friends, brothers, sisters? Um, I fucked the guy I was fucking's brother. Does that count? Sure, I like then, it. Then yeah. Okay. Then yeah. 
Was it for revenge? Were you for it? Were you just that horny and he seen it? It was just there. He was just there, and I was like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "Yeah, he won't find out." And I was like, "All right, let it go." Did let you it ever go. Find out? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Sneaky, you are. Sneaky. You don't get caught. I don't get no caught. No one finds. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Oh, of course. Can we hear what that sounds like? I don't know how to do it now. Like. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, let's see. Last set, set of questions. Romantic. Ooh. Making out or cuddling? Cuddling. Cut or uncut? Shrimp. Wait. <laughs> no, we were on different pages. Cut. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't. I didn't. Like, there's a. New, they're trimming people's foreskin now. No, they're, that's not what I thought you were asking. I thought you were asking like pubic hair. That was okay, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. We do. We do want trimmed hair, but yes. we want, you know, yeah. So cut. Cut. Um, what's a perfect date night for you? If someone wanted to take you on a date. Perfect what would that be? date night. Food. Going out to eat anywhere, and then going for like a walk, and then like ice cream, and then a lot of sex. Okay. Yeah. Giving or receiving. What do you like most? Um, giving. If I like you, giving. Okay. Yeah. Naked or lingerie? Do you dress up? Or I do you... lingerie sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Last question. What is a deal breaker for most Kelsey King? Um, not going to the gym. Not going in. So you have to be active. You have to be active. I am too much of a gym rat to be involved with someone who's not because you just don't understand okay. why I do the weird gym rat things that I do. How many days a week do you work out? Um, as of right now, I'm on a four day split, but I'm in the gym six days a week. Okay. Good so for I you. lift four days and then I do cardio two days. Keep it healthy. Oh, Keep yeah. that very body healthy. Right, Kelsey. Very healthy. Well, that concludes Truth with Texas. Is there anything you want to ask me before we get out of here? Um, when you first started, when you were like as many months as I am in, like six months, did you think you were going to be as big of a like, star and as well known as you are now? Did you plan on getting to be to this level? Um, I don't think it's anything you really plan or I didn't really. I was I was young, dumb, and full of cum. I liked <laughs> having sex and I liked to me as art and I like to express myself. Born gave me a space to be a creative in that world and be in a safe space and, and try multiple partners that I wouldn't have had access to before. Um, so I just was having fun and with that just came more notoriety and more, you know, hype about things and I was very fortunate to become as big as I have and the success I've had. So I definitely didn't think that it would be. I always obtained, uh, my biggest motto was go big or go home and Miss Texas doesn't go home. Oh, of course so not. We still here, baby. I and love um, it. I just released my scene, the first scene to come back um, in five years yesterday. So that's awesome. Again, Congratulations. I didn't come. I'm not going home. So we're still Don't in Don't go home, game. babe. We want to keep you forever. Home, for we sure. Love you. But yeah, it's, um, it's, you know, it's different for everybody. But I think that, you know, the more you stay with it and the more you stay true to yourself and what you really want to do in your path, I think that the stardom just comes with that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. I know you're having a crazy exotica. Please yes. let us know where we can support you, whatever social media websites yes. you have. So Instagram, OnlyFans, Kelsey Kane underscore XO, and then Twitter is Kelsey Kane X. Thank you so much for having awesome. me. I appreciate you. All right, Private Talk, there you have it. Make sure you go follow Miss Kelsey Kane. Thank you. This episode is sponsored by Bet Online.